Hello and welcome to yet another episode on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. My name is Bob. In this episode we're going to be looking at the application of all the 12 volt systems that I have been making videos about over the years. We're in a bush camp situation at the moment living on our 12 volt systems and gas. Sometimes we stay in caravan parks with mains power and water connected and other times we live off grid or as we call it in Australia we free camp and it's the off grid or free camp component that I want to talk about in this video. In previous episodes I've talked about how I've built battery boxes, how I've fitted solar panels. So in this episode I plan to bring it all together and just show you their operation in the wild. Apart from the starter battery in the vehicle there are two auxiliary battery systems drawing power from the alternator. In a modern vehicle like this one I like to add on to the system rather than integrate. So the power supply to the two auxiliary batteries starts from the starter battery supplied through 6 gauge or 6 BNS or 14 mm squared battery cable and both of these lines are fitted with 50 amp fuses. The auxiliary batteries are also charged via roof mounted solar panels as is the caravan battery. In the case of both the auxiliary batteries they're fitted with DC DC chargers which take the supply from the alternator or the supply from the roof solar panels and turn it into a charging current for the battery. So in an earlier three part video series I made a battery box and this is it here. It's pretty well as it was made however what we do have additional is a low voltage disconnect box. What this does is that when the voltage drops to 50% of the battery capacity it cuts the power and that's uh, a good thing. It sounds an alarm so you get, you get a warning. The battery box itself is driving this 95 litre fridge freezer unit. So we've got a fridge section here, freezer section here, we're carrying food and drink in the uh, fridge and all the battery has to do, all the battery box has to do is drive that. It gets charged by the solar panels which there was another video on and also by the vehicle when the vehicle is driving. In another video we put together this battery box. It's another 12 volt absorbed glass mat battery and the power feed for it is down here. Well its main purpose is to provide 12 volts back to the caravan or camper that we tow behind this vehicle. The reason being that the caravan has a 12 volt battery but that battery does not provide power to the fridge when you're traveling. So you need to provide power and I've set up the battery in the tow vehicle mainly as a better distribution of weight. The other thing that we use it for is uh, it's useful when we are off-roading, run the compressor to pump up tires and the other thing is that even though it's not used during the night or when we're parked up it's a reserve. If we do run too low on power we have cables, we can cable this in to provide uh, backup 12 volt power to the system. The rig is set up for camping at the moment. We have no external power supply, we're reliant on our own devices. This particular caravan is a 21 foot Jayco. Uh, it's an Australian made caravan. It has a battery system and a 170 watt solar panel but uh, can also be charged from mains power but in this situation it's solely reliant on its solar panel. It also has gas so cooking is taken care of by gas, heating of water 
for hot showers etc is taken care of by gas. The fridge itself is what we call a three-way fridge, it's an absorption fridge. It can work off battery power, off mains power or off gas and it works off gas in this situation. What we use the battery for in the caravan is to drive a water pump to provide us with uh, water flow. It also provides all the lights and things like television, uh, charging of devices, etc. The battery in the caravan is located under the bed. So this is where the battery is located in the caravan. It's got its own little battery box. There's an inverter over there. Supplies all the necessary 12 volts. Uh, the battery itself is a 130 amp hour unit. It's fed by a 170 watt solar panel on the roof. But over there, there is a power point and when we're connected to mains power that runs a dedicated battery charger which charges the battery. All works very nicely we haven't run out of power yet. Just to recap we've got three situations that the system the combined systems of the vehicle and the caravan have to cover. So when we're camped off grid we're relying on the battery systems and the gas to maintain our level of luxury. The compressor fridge in the vehicle relies on the its dedicated battery for power and that battery is being recharged from the solar panel on the roof of the vehicle. The caravan's essential appliances run on either battery power or gas. The fridge is a three-way absorption fridge and in that situation it's running on gas. The hot water system also runs on gas. The stove runs on gas. Campfire cooking is an alternative to the stove and here you see uh, Lulu the dog and myself setting up our camp or Dutch oven. The remaining systems, water pump, the lights, the fans over the stove, shower, recharging of devices, all other electrical needs are essentially met from battery power. And the caravan battery has a 170 watt solar panel on the roof to recharge it. And this uh, camping trip, the weather's been relatively mild, cool nights, pleasant days, and overnight we're losing 10 to 25% of the battery charge and that's easily recouped during the day from the solar panels. If you've watched my video on fitting the solar panels you will you, you might remember that the testing I did was done in hot summer weather 40 degree days uh, that's Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit. We were losing about 38 40% of the battery overnight but during the day, certainly by sundown the next day, the battery was fully recharged ready to go another cycle overnight. Now of course if we did need additional battery power we have a third battery which is the battery that runs the fridge when we're in transit and that battery when we're in a camp situation is sitting idle it's fully charged from its uh, own solar panel and if need be uh, we can connect it into the system to provide us with additional battery power. We haven't needed to do that. In a caravan park situation where we've got mains power and water available it all changes. The compressor fridge in the vehicle runs from mains power the fridge in the caravan runs from mains power as does the hot water system the battery itself is recharged from mains power using the battery charger. It's still running the lights, uh, the television, etc., the little fans. 
uh, they're dedicated 12 volt systems but it's all easily dealt with it's low current draw and of course cooking is still done with gas driving on the road the, the gas is shut off of course caravan battery is being recharged from a solar panel on the roof the fridge is drawing its power from the dedicated battery purposely for the fridge it's just a weight distribution system that means it's sitting in the uh, in the vehicle so it's drawing its power from that dedicated battery in the vehicle which is being recharged by the vehicle's alternator and also the solar panel that's on the roof of the vehicle the compressor fridge it's running on battery has a dedicated battery again with this dedicated solar panel but also when the motor is going in the vehicle it's being topped up from the alternator if we stop for a break any water needs we have we just turn on the water pump it's provided by the 12 volt water pump uh, lights of course all that system works um, the fridges are quite happy to sit there for a number of hours just running on their batteries so we are all set up for off-grid camping however our limiting factor is water we carry about 300 litres of water which is about 75 US gallons or about 65 British gallons now that lasts us about six days so then we need to go and find some water however so the other thing that's important in off-grid camping of course is the sunshine it probably helps to set the scene for the for those of you who don't know the Australian environment if I I give you a few words from a poem called My Country written by one of our famous poets called Dorothea McKellar and a few lines it goes something like this I love a sunburned country a land of sweeping plains of rugged mountain ranges and of droughts and flooding rains now I didn't mention bushfires because that's another part of the environment here but the picture is that it's generally dry, hot and very very sunny and with this abundance of sunlight comes a lot of heat and of course I like to park the van in the shade the problem with parking it in the shade is it puts a solar panel on the roof in the shade as well and limits the solar power getting to the battery. So what do you do? Okay, so what I have is a portable solar panel. This here is a 250 watt uh, King's Adventure King solar panel. It has an MPPT controller and it's able to keep the caravan battery charged or if we need to we can use it to power any or recharge any of the three batteries in the vehicle the whole thing works very nicely we can have the caravan in the shade and we can enjoy the comfort of the camp spot thank you for watching if you liked it i'd welcome a thumbs up share it share it with your friends share it with people who aren't your friends it's all good if you are not already subscribed to this channel and you like the sort of stuff that I do, then it's easy. Just hit the subscribe bar down below. While you're there, ding the bell so that you'll get a notification from YouTube the next time a video is aired on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. Thank you once again for watching. I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye.